During the civil war of 1993 in Burundi, people started to kill each other based on their ethnic groups. After the president was killed, I was raped by three men who left me to die. They were armed men affiliated with the ruling party at the time. I did not report the incident because there was nowhere to report. I was young and scared of reprisals and stigma. I didn't trust the police. I was also ashamed of myself. I did not want anyone to know it. I also had a lot of health complications due to the rape, so reporting was not even my priority at the time. In the last 10 years, conflict-related sexual violence has been perpetrated against more than 51,000 victims and survivors across the globe, according to cases verified by the United Nations. Due to underreporting by victims and survivors and challenges related to documentation in conflict settings, thousands of cases of CRSV each year are never documented. The true scale of CRSV to this day remains unknown. Sexual violence is primarily used against women and girls as a manifestation of deeply entrenched and widespread gender inequality. Cases against men and boys have also been documented. I did not expect um, such a thing to happen to me, but I cannot tell anyone about it, not even my family. No one will treat me like a man again if they know. I was treated. I was treated like less than even an animal. Every time I think about what happened, I, um, I feel angry. The United Nations Security Council has recognized that CRSV is a threat to peace and security and requested the international community to put an end to CRSV and assist survivors. CRSV is not an inevitable byproduct of war. It is preventable and punishable. In fact, CRSV is a serious violation of international human rights law and international humanitarian law. It can amount to a crime against humanity, a war crime, and a crime of genocide. I was separated and raped again. That time, they brought me to a private house near the camp. The soldiers who took me were wearing their uniforms, but I saw no insignia to identify them. I was raped physically and mentally tortured and starved by the soldiers. After what had happened, I felt rejected. I thought everyone avoided me because of my experience. I lost confidence in myself and in others. I never sought justice. Because to this day, I do not know who the perpetrators are. Which is also the reason why it would be nearly impossible to file a lawsuit. Senior Women Protection Advisors, SWPAs, are experts deployed in UN peace operations, special political missions, and offices of resident coordinators to advise on the prevention and response to CRSV and lead on reporting of CRSV. I am 31 years old. I live in, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. On March 23, 2018, the leader of an armed group brought my wife a little away and he raped her while the rest of the group raped me too. I. I even suffered sexual mutilation when I tried to struggle to set my wife free. And eight days later, the kidnapped women returned to the village, my wife included. She had lost so much weight. She explained to me how she had been raped every day by at least five men, that she had to fetch water, prepare the meals for them, take care of their laundry and other work, we stayed in the hospital for six months where I had surgery and my wife and I, we continued to see a psychologist as the trauma was so violent. Every new wave of warfare brings with it a rising tide of human tragedy, including new waves of war's oldest, most silenced and least condemned crime, conflict-related sexual violence. At the time, of my capture, uh, I was 15 years old. I was kept in a dark cell-like room with another girl. For a whole week, we weren't allowed to see 
the light of day. I was then uh, gifted to a fighter. He was 45 years old from uh, Mosul and had two wives in, uh, and 12 kids. I was forced to serve them. I did all the house chores and was mercilessly abused verbally, physically, and mentally. And, hmm, and I stayed with them for three months until another man began to take me to his house and repeatedly raped me. And for six months, uh, he then sold me uh, to another person uh, who lived with uh, a group of uh, militants in what they called uh, the guest house there. Uh, they sold Yazidi girls for low prices uh, or just gifted them to people. They treated the girls uh, like uh, objects. Preventing and responding to CRSV is crucial in the UN's pursuit of peace and security and in efforts to ensure that all women, men, girls and boys can equally enjoy their fundamental human rights by understanding its impact and acting against it. We build a world where the horrors of conflict-related sexual violence can be prevented and ended. For good.